So I'm going to uh, create a data model first based on the local file uh, SAP test and then I'll just say import. So in the data set provided there is no date column uh, but if you see the column name itself is a date so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transpose uh, this date transpose as in I am going to create a, a, a date column based on uh, the headers which is provided so for that so once this is imported so it will create a default uh, uh, you know column names based on the excel uh, sheet so this is actually a dimension material id so that is the dimension so, so that is created and then i'm going to create a data structure out here you know so this is my customer this is fine this is my division so I'm checking the data types which are fine. Generic, generic. Okay. So this is how we go. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Material, yeah. Six. Okay. So these are good. Now we need to create one column. Uh, the name I give. Give uh, decimal places to. So this is basically my measures. Yeah. So this amount is created. So this amount will have basically all the values. Okay, so I'm going to delete all this. Yes, I don't delete this. Delete. Okay. Now basically then I have one, two, three, four, five, six and the amount column 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok perfect this is good mm -hmm. yeah so I will have to create one more column for date sales date this I will take it as date yeah and the granularity sales date. So I'm going to have data from twenty two twenty two and twenty three data is there. So I just have twenty one and five let's take it is okay. okay yeah perfect now I will save this so it's asking me what is the default member for date so I'll give it is So this is 1st of January 2022. That is what my default is that I'm currently doing. Create a test one. Hold on. the data model of it. I'm keeping the same name. Okay.
so my model is created now I'm going to create a story out of it so I can use a responsive whenever I'm uh, we are going to do uh, any mobile friendly but just for this test I'm just taking the optimized one so this is the chart which I'm going to create for the steps so I have date as my dimensions actual and plan and then optimization so I'll take the model Get the date and the time. Oh. Mm. Basically, I did not load the data. Need to load it first. So I'll go to data management. Select the file. And then import. If you upload the file on FTP server or AWS or uh, any uh, uh, file server, you can directly use it from there. So I'm going to transpose this and so first is material, material is fine, customize fine, division type and see if you see this this I'm going to transpose and create a, a, a date out of it so we don't so if I say transpose so it will ask me so I'm pressing control and selecting the columns So it has now transposed and uh, divided into two columns. One is the key column, uh, which is basically my header column, which has all my date uh, data, and then the value column to that particular. So I'll make this as sales date. So I need to change the data type to date. Okay, so it has successfully validated as well. So no issues. Now the value is basically uh, integer. So it can say take number. Okay. Not right. There. Next, I'll map date with date column and the value with mount. So good. And say next. So next. So this is the same procedure uh, used for creating planning models as well. So in the test. I'll, I'll show you that as well uh, where we have the planning 
my data. So I'm going to import this. So once this is done, the data will flow uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, data model which we have created. Okay. Now let's. Okay. So all good. So data is gathered. Prepare the data. Mapping is done. Then review the import and then import. So there are three sixty rows which have been inserted. Okay, now let's create a story. Something in a chart. So here we can have drill down. So if you see, this is my drill down. is my This is the first exercise. Now come to the second. Now create a restricted dimension to compare. Okay. Compare dimension define in 2023. So dimension dimension ratio. filter and division and Saves quarter. So I'd like to change the hierarchy from month to quarters. Okay. No data value. No. Okay, good. Let's see what is going on. When you drill down twenty twenty two okay, so I need to add one dimension called division. Okay, this is coming and filter out this one. Now defy is coming to start. Mm, per month for first quarter. For oh, first quarter. So I will filter it out in first quarter and have a drill down. So this is one for first quarter. So January, February, March, 
नहीं फर्स्ट कॉप था ओके ठीक है क्रिएट अ चार्ट विथ वेरियंट्स तो शो डिफरेंट ऑफ सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर create a chart with a variance to show difference of materials between okay it's interesting so let me do it in a date will leave it there this we don't want and I'll remove the filters so we'll need material We don't want pipe since it is only sales. What I'll do is do that. I'll also build up so that I can get only year data. Okay, so this is my material. <coughs> this is my material and my year. Okay, and so there are two ways to find the variance. I can select this year and this year. So if you observe, we will have the variance out here, or we can also add a variance. Uh, where is it? T -t 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 Chart mm. add-ons, variance. Okay. Now variance will need a uh, sales date. So this is current time period, which is 2023, and previous time period, okay, which is 2022. So what is the difference? So so there was a loss of four zero four million. Sorry, four hundred thousand. If you see, so I can have both the options where I can see the percentage as well as the figure. You can also change the labels where if you want only to see the figures, you can see that. We can also have integrated and then waterfall as well. So I think yeah. Hmm? yeah. So all the three answers have been covered. So yeah, thank you and uh, I will send the, the next part of the video for the planning very soon. Thank you. Bye.